News today, federal regulators approved the first major railroad merger in more than two decades, one that will link the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. And proponents say it will benefit the economy. But as WGN's Dana Rebic reports from Itasca, several Chicago suburbs are not pleased about the approval. That's right. Those who live and work in this area in these affected suburbs are calling this a rushed decision. They feel was rubber stamped by the Surface Transportation Board. They are concerned and disappointed, worried about the impact. I'm definitely concerned. Tracy Dodano, the owner of La Bella Salon and Boutique in Itasca, not happy about today's news. A $31 billion merger between Canadian Pacific and Kansas City Southern, creating the largest freight company running from Canada to Mexico through the U.S. The Itasca Hair Salon sits right next to the rail line that will carry these additional trains. Her customers and employees will soon be delayed much more often crossing these tracks. Yes, we will let our clients know that obviously this is something that they're going to have to plan for now. We made this decision because we found in general terms, which I will discuss in more detail, uh, that on balance, the merger of these two railroads will benefit the American economy and will be an improvement for all citizens in terms of safety and the environment. We are extremely disappointed and dumbfounded that the Surface Transportation Board's decision today. Leaders of communities along Metra's Milwaukee District West Line, stretching from Bensonville to Elgin, have long voiced concerns about the impact to quality of life and public safety. The merger impacts 54 crossings on 20 miles of railway, tripling freight traffic with trains up to two miles long. Our concern is for the police officer caught up in a situation where he or she needs backup, and that is delayed by a freight train. Our concern is the survivability of the citizen who collapsed and stopped breathing, but the ambulance is delayed because of a freight train. Residents also worried about declining property values and trains carrying hazardous materials after the derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. Those who live and work along this rail line frustrated, feeling their concerns fell on deaf ears. They are being railroaded by bureaucrats who are a thousand miles away. We deserve better. We deserve to be heard. Metro says it remains concerned about the impact on this merger, saying today, quote, we will count on the merged railroads commitments and the STB's oversight to make sure we can operate safely and reliably and continue to provide service that meets the needs of the residents of the Chicago area. Now, it is not quite clear when exactly these additional freight trains will start running on this line. Live in Itasca, Dana Rebic, WGN News. All right, thank you, Dana.